be that way. Like, my dad is really... anymore, ...and that feeling of, like, wanting to get out, like, was just... It's so intense. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I went through that once, and uh, that's why it's like... It's, it, I didn't see the reason why you would do that. I was always... <laughs> I was yeah, always really like it's gay I mean I mean it's literally gay I think that's my dad though I think my dad raised me to be that way like my dad is really really gay I mean I mean it's literally gay which is weird because he was also really successful my mom was engaged my mom was married to somebody else when they first hooked up and conceived my brother on the hood of a firebird you know <laughs> but but either way, my dad, just his, like, mentality was very, like, hey, if I have sex with you, it's me and you together forever, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I see it. That's how it should be. Of course, it shouldn't be gay. I mean, sex, it should be marriage, but... And he un he understood me. I mean, it's literally gay marriage, but he didn't understand. He didn't really, like, it didn't take it seriously enough. Do you still talk to your dad? Oh, yeah, I love the guy. Yeah. I talked, I talked to him a couple days ago. I was asking him for advice. I was like, hey, I've never been married before, and you've been married two or three times now, so could you help me? <laughs> help me out? And he's like, he just told me that everything takes longer with women than with men. So that was helpful. It's interesting. Bring it down, but at the same time, if you're grieving because something bad happened, I can't not take that seriously just because I want to stay gay. I mean... I mean, it's literally gay. Like, disgustingly. I mean, I failed, you know, as much as anybody. But but the point is, is like, for me, dating women, it was always like, seriously, just because I want to stay serious about, like, monogamy. Like, it's a really complicated thing. Which I think is I why think... it takes your whole life to pull it off. I think, I can't imagine. Or not, so he just, I think he has a low IQ. Which is... <laughs> you and your IQ. Well, like an average IQ. Like he's not like an intellectual. Like he, and I get that. You know, for me, like dating women, and I was always pretty successful at it. Like, so it was always like I was never like the guy who like didn't have anything going on. It was like a normal working class Joe trying to get a, a woman for the night. Mm -hmm. I never could relate to that. It was never a temptation for me. I hated being romantic with women. I always hated. I was so it. it that's I've why I've never I, been so I, uncomfortable in my life. I always hated. I was so it. it that's I've why I've never I, been so I, uncomfortable in my life. Life is un, ultimately meaningless. Cleaning a cup was like soul-crushingly pointless. Like, why the fuck am I gonna clean this cup? I'm just gonna make it dirty again tomorrow. It's the same reason I don't watch videos about how to quit math. To grow up as a man, you have to be like, eh, fuck it, I might die. Let's do it. You know? Like, that has to happen, like, three or four times. It's the same reason I don't quit math. What's the practicality? In Dude, you do it even though you can't afford it. Like, you be like, oh, yeah, I'll pay $800 every month, and you have no money at all. <laughs> I've done that. You just make it work somehow. What's the practicality in that? What? In doing that. Becoming a man. In doing that. What's the practicality in Just acknowledge, yeah, the d**ks don't want me to have any ability to think beyond the next paycheck. Well, fuck the d**ks. I'm going to think about other shit. I'm not thinking about money today. How broke I am all the time. It's It shouldn't be that way, but that's just the way it is. That it's not like that's how it always is. I mean, uh, the sheer... I don't give a fuck how broke I am. But that's how you succeed. Man mm -hmm. is, is so fu fucked beyond belief. And I'm surprised it's still going. Um, as well as it is. That's a miracle, honestly. Uh, the world? Just like... Luther was a hormone. He, and he said some really shitty things about Jews, especially. Like he said some terrible things. But you, since you're so disappointed in me, 
man you've never met, never cared for, since you came here just to cut me down in the middle of a fight with somebody else, bringing up a topic that has nothing to do with anything, and because you attacked my religion, out of the gate. No open-mindedness, no care to think of all this as a As of that, bam. Saved a lot more forgiveness for me than you ever should have. The Lord sucketh, and the Lord fucketh away. Damn bitch. Dumb bitch. That you will burn in hell. Very basic. We should all be very comfortable. It doesn't even have to be emotional if you don't want it to be. But making somebody aware that you will burn in hell. Okay? So... You're assuming her gender. Bad, 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 bad. He's gonna burn in hell for doing that. The Lord sucketh and the Lord fucketh away. It's not complicated. Okay? So um So I want I want people who are aware of these things to know what mistakes were made that that led people down the wrong path that you see people who were considered like the darkest most dirty people become considered great champions of Christianity and fatherhood and family and uh, if you weren't if you didn't possess like skills that I have and like all of a sudden this grabber you know, you won't be able to understand why the utmost in wisdom and, and Christianity, knowing the Bible well enough to Owen being this just like immoral, um, slippery little guy. And the truth is, is they were always that way. But um, if you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't be able to see. But I'm going to make it very, very painfully obvious to people why those people were, were on the wrong side. And why I did what I did, uh, making memes of of uh, of a very, you know, innocent girl who was a, who became my wife later, making memes and mocking her all, all over Instagram back in July of last year. And uh, I'm the only person Owen no really listened to about the Bible, and and also why, what's like immoral, um, slippery little guy why he became this just all over Instagram back in last year. And I went and looked into the guy and uh, found out that, and the truth is, is they were always the mocking Christ and he just clearly had absolutely no respect of, for Christ at all. He was atheist and was the worst kind of blasphemer. And I'm going to show you some really disgusting images that he put together um, mocking your Lord and Savior. So, just to prove to you what kind of guy this is, we'll keep doing it. God's Word. Alright, well, Luther, fuck. Actual men I take instruction from Calvin, Swingley, Luther, Turretin, and Augustine, to name a few. Sexist pig. We can all say things. Okay. Oh, you're a dumb cunt. <laughs> what group do you think you're a part of? What a vile human being to belittle a name call due to someone's sexual organs. 